Hi there, I'm Aaron, founder of Threshold Productions. If you've been a subscriber for a while, you'll remember that this channel used to be a travel journalism venture. However, those videos remain separate and sadly in the past. We're moving in a new direction, focusing on flying and pilot related content, and I hope you'll stick around. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. We're excited to have you. Whether you're just starting out with us or you've been here for a while, any constructive feedback is greatly appreciated, and you can provide that down below in the comments or via direct message. This channel is all about improvement, learning, and sharing the passion for flying, and I believe that in this video, the first in what should be a lengthy series will shine upon those aforementioned goals. If you don't already know me or haven't been following my Instagram, I'm a student of management and organizational studies, specializing in commercial aviation management at the University of Western Ontario. I'm enrolled in the flight program where I completed my private pilot's license in early June 2021. Through this fall, winter and spring, I'll be working on fulfilling the requirements for my commercial pilot's license as well as my night rating. Ever since I became passionate about aviation, I've understood that it's a field in which one of the most important aspects is to never stop learning and to take any bit of feedback or advice from pilot stories, including when it involves them making a mistake. Sometimes this means asking hard questions and recognizing the sacrifices you'll have to make along the way. Flying is something that brings me joy every day, and I hope my content will provide insight into my life as I move forward in training to become an airline pilot. In the vlog portion of this video, we're going to be heading over to St. Catharines in the DA-20 on my first cross country of this semester. Let's go flying. Trace, IFR, approach, RNAV, Zulu, runway 33, landing and departing, runway 33, caution, glider activity, London, VOR, radio, 063, at 12 nautical miles, inform ATC that you have information, India. On the ground, good afternoon, Katana Golf, Tango Delta Foxtrot, with information, India. Golf Tango Delta Foxtrot, Leningrad. Golf Tango Delta Foxtrot's an apron three. Request taxi for a VFR flight to Wyerton at 5,500 via the Alpha Intersection departure if able. Golf Tango Delta Foxtrot, Leningrad, runway 33, wind 340 at 10, altimeter 3009er. Taxi via Alpha Squawk 0074, contact tower 119er, decimal 4, hold in short, runway 33. Taxi Alpha, hold short, 3-3, three, three, tower there, 119 decimal 4, squawk 0074 for Golf Tango Delta Fox Drop. Okay, so uh, that's us ready to go. Uh, we'll bring the parking brake off and just do a quick check. Uh, nobody's coming. I'll do a brake check, make sure the brakes are all okay. On the ground, hello, it's Airsprint 822 uh, with you at uh, Executive Aviation Information Hotel, request taxi. Thanks, left. Both. Airsprint 822, London right. ground, runway 33, wind 320 at 9, altimeter 3009, taxi via Golf, contact yeah, tower 119, decimal 4, hold in short, runway 33. Alright, taxi runway 32, 3509 from Alpha, clear takeoff on runway 33, twin holds for you. 
Not above 2,000, the twin holds and clear for takeoff 3 3. Bell take it out of the Foxtrot. X rays uniform tower behind the container departing Alpha, exit Alpha, contact ground 121. Right. Uh, landing is still over on. And uh, contact ground 121.9, X rays uniform. And that'll be a takeoff time of 1814 Zulu. Zulu the Romeo Tower, continue in the downwinds and I'll call your turn across Center the line. line. Throttle's coming in. Zulu Zulu, Romeo. Airspeed's alive, gauges on the green. There's 44, rotate. Oh yeah, she wants to fly today. London Tower, hello, it's Air Sprint 822, holding short runway 33 on Golf, ready to There's be. There's a 68 Air climb. Sprint 822 at Golf, line up runway 33, amendment departure advised, ready copy. Angle the Foxtrot Tower, turn right heading 360. Right, 360, tank it out the Fox Trot. Right, 822, the radar, uh, readback was correct. Airborne contact, Toronto Center, 1353. Wind 350, 10 got 16, clear takeoff, runway 33. We are now level at 55 in our cruise power setting here of uh, 2200 RPM. Just off to my right uh, here is Saint, the town of St. Mary's. I'm going to make a call shortly on the, um, the uh, on route traffic frequency. Just uh, let the traffic in the area know of uh, my position, where I'm going, and uh, what altitude I'm, uh, I'm at. The uh, GPS uh, is saying that there's about 91 miles to go, uh, giving an ETE of uh, one hour, four minutes. Uh, so about what we uh, expected, uh, I would say. Uh, the winds are pretty strong. Uh, we got a headwind of 22 knots and a crosswind of about six knots. So on the way back, we're going to be uh, flying probably uh, pretty quickly. I'm going to make that call now to the um, the uh, VFR on route traffic and um, traffic in the same areas, area, Catanic Gulf, Tango Delta Fox, right at 5,500, heading northbound on route to Wyerton, uh, traffic in the St. Mary's area. I said we were going to go to Niagara Falls, we're headed to Wyerton. Um, it's just kind of how things go when you're, uh, you have to be on your toes, ready for everything. Plan this flight uh, at the airport. Um, I have planned to wire to before, I have not been there. Unfortunately, uh, with the uh, little bit less time that we have, it doesn't uh, look like we'll be able to um, stop in Wyerton at all. Uh, we'll probably just do a touch and go there, depending on how the winds look. We'll have to recheck them. All right, everyone, uh, just checked in into Wyerton. Uh, Going to be coming through 3,000 now, just descending uh, towards 500 above circuit altitude. What my plan right now is, is uh, what I've announced is going to going to be crossing over the field at 500 above circuit altitude and then coming back around to the south side. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is I just want to check the wind socks. Right now on the G500 it looks like the winds are going to be okay for us, but uh, I'm unsure uh, right now if uh, that's really going to work out, uh, so I do want to check the wind socks, make sure uh, that everything's going to be all, all right for us. Wireton traffic, Tentacle, Tentacle, Fox Trotters overhead the field. Uh, Going to be joining up mid left down 1305 Wireton traffic.
climb, stay calm. Wait for the indicator light. And put the power back in. There's 44 knots, rotate. And back to London we go. So uh, the procedures here, we have to depart to circuit altitude and then uh, after that we're able to make our right turn back towards London. Certainly not the uh, the best landing I've made. Uh, I think I flared a little bit too early, but uh, it wasn't. It certainly wasn't the worst landing uh, either. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be getting the camera there, uh, so we'll pause and we'll get back to you soon. Definitely got to figure out what's going on with the suction cup here. Uh, I apologize for all the uh, jump cuts and stuff uh, this video. I will uh, be investigating this further and uh, hopefully uh, in the next video things will be a bit smoother. Uh, climbing out of Wireton now, uh, we're going up to uh, 6,500 for this leg back to London, which is 104 miles away, and uh, we will be probably having to stay a bit low uh, just because this uh, layer of few clouds around uh, will impede our progress up to 65, but once we're past those, which was around uh, the town of Hanover, uh, we'll be climbing up to our en route altitude of 6,500. All right, hello again, and uh, I'm en route back to London now, about 45 minutes to go. Um, I'm at 3,000 feet right now, just uh, there's a low cloud layer uh, above me. I can't get up to either 45 or 65, which are my desired altitudes uh, on the way back. Um, for now, uh, I'll just stay down here at 3,000 and uh, it looks like it uh, clears up relatively soon, uh, maybe in 30 miles or so, so I'll be uh, climbing after that. Really not sure what uh, is going to be in this video and what's not going to be in this video. Um, the camera keeps falling off of the suction cup thing, or the suction cup keeps falling off of whatever it's attached to. So basically, um, sometimes I, I pick it up like 30 seconds later when I have a like free hand and the camera is just off because the battery is falling out um, because right now there's a flap open um, and in there is the battery, the SD card and the thing that plugs into the headset so you can hear what I'm saying. Um, unfortunately, since the battery falls out, I have no clue if it saves any of the video that it recorded. It should. It should just be on the card and like assumes that the camera got turned off but I really, at this point, don't know. So I really hope that this video turns out. I, I know it's my first video, it's gonna be rough, um, but I, I am hoping, I do have high hopes that it'll be uh, at least decent. But um, I, since I said the, uh, just earlier on in the video a few times that I, it's, it's all about improving, this is one of those things that's definitely gonna be improving uh, throughout uh, the series. So please stick around, I'm sure it won't be this rough. Uh, for the rest of the time, but, uh, you know, uh, thanks for your support anyway, and uh, hopefully you're enjoying at least the scenery parts of the video and, and all sorts of stuff like that, and, uh, yeah, just uh, enjoy the rest of the flight. I'm sure I'll be cutting in some B-roll uh, as well, and, uh, and hopefully the landing in London is not uh, compromised by my video uh, or my camera falling off of the, uh, the ceiling of the plane. Hi there uh, again. Uh, we're just uh, coming through 20 minutes out of London now. Uh, that's uh, about 45 miles or so at the moment. We're doing a ground speed of uh, over 140. It's uh, usually been between uh, 140, 148 
uh, with a true uh, airspeed of 115 and uh, an indicated airspeed of 103, which is, uh, I calculated a true airspeed of 112 and uh, a ca uh, indicated of one, uh, 101 or 102. So we're doing pretty good and the ground speed is, is excellent. We're uh, really making it back to London in good time uh, right now. Um, it's so smooth up here. I'm at 6,500 now and uh, not a cloud in the sky at the moment it is stunning. Um, and uh, just going to be passing Goderich uh, on the right. It's about 50 miles right. It's a beautiful afternoon for flying, that's for sure. Um, at least around this area. Up in Wyarton, those clouds were uh, about 4,000 feet, so not too bad. And uh, once you uh, got out of uh, the town of Hanover, uh, that's when stuff got better. Um, yeah, there's uh, not a whole lot uh, going on up here. Uh, keep checking the gauges, everything's looking great. Uh, got the mixture pretty lean right now and uh, still getting good uh, RPMs and everything and uh, hopefully saving the engine and burning uh, less gas up here. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's been a great flight so far. Um, I've really enjoyed getting back into the, uh, the cross countries. Uh, might be doing some circuits uh, come uh, coming up on the weekend, and not sure if I'll be recording that. Um, partly because it's not super exciting, and also partly because that camera is just not going to stick up there for uh, an hour of just takeoffs and landings, and I don't have time to deal with that. Um, I only have time to deal with it when I'm in cruise or at least uh, in some sort of stable uh, flight. 300, temperature 21, dew point niner. Altimeter 3009er. IFR, approach, RNAV, Zulu, runway 33. Any uh, traffic in the area? Okay, so we'll have a kilo in um, in London, and I'll call them about maybe 15 miles uh, or so um, away. Gusty, but straight down the nose of the runway, uh, 330 at 12 uh, gusting 22. But it is variable, so we'll be watching out for the crosswind. And if I don't like it, I'll be uh, going around for sure. Weather Tower, good afternoon. Botanic Golf Tango Delta Foxtrot with Kilo. Golf Tango Delta Foxtrot, let it there. Uh, Golf Tango Delta Foxtrot is uh, just inside of 17 miles uh, to the north at 5,700, uh, descending for a full stop. Tango Delta Foxtrot, Tower Squawk Ident, runway 33, altimeter 3009. Golf Tango Delta Foxtrot. Tango Delta Foxtrot, Tower identified 16 northeast, 5,600, cleared right downwind. Cleared right downwind, 33, uh, Golf Tango Delta Foxtrot. Delta Foxtrot, so holding crew to 30 for departure. Delta Foxtrot, Echo Tower, not above 3,000 feet, climb runway heading, wind 310, 13 gust 20, for mountain clear takeoff, runway 33. Clear takeoff, not above runway heading, uh, and climb runway, uh, sorry, not above 3,000 feet, and climb runway heading to uh, 3,000 feet. Uh, I just got to the end of the video editing, and I do apologize, but unfortunately my fear of the camera falling off the ceiling during landing came true. The video cuts off as the battery has fallen out, so the file is corrupted and I can't even run the audio over anything else. I've learned a lot as I've made this video and I hope that you understand the less than ideal start to the series. I'm going to be putting a lot of work into this channel, so please make sure to follow along on YouTube and Instagram. At the present moment, I'm not sure if there will be a regular schedule or not. My classes start on the 8th of September, so as they pick up, I might not have as much time to edit. And I'd also like to extend a special thanks to my close friends who have recently subscribed to the channel. It means a lot to me, especially as we just passed the 1,000 subscribers mark, and luckily I can get paid again. Um, so expect the quality of the content to keep going up, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.